This story will cover from then to now and next, all about change, how to turn losers into winners. The mountains of Kenya are also called water towers. The water that flows down from them is vital to many Kenyans, their crops, their animals, and to the wildlife too. And the mountain forests are vital for helping to provide that water supply. If the forests fail, so does the water and the wildlife that lives in it. Here, hidden away, is a rare symbol of Kenya's forests, the mountain bongo. Can we save it and its valuable forest home? A big game hunter from the old days, Tony Seth Smith, used to shoot bongos. He's been attacked by buffalo when he was hunting, but bongo was always the main prize. I used to particularly like trying to hunt them. It, it was a hunt, it was not the killing of a bongo, which was the... Uh, the attraction, it was the, the challenge of trying to get close to an animal, probably within 15 or 20 yards of it, which was as near as you could get before you started to see any, even a part of the beast. And um, uh, with it being so alert, the chances are to, it saw you or heard you before you'd any got anywhere near it. And uh, you'd track it for five, six, seven, eight hours and then there'd just be a crash and it would have gone. But it was the clearance of the forest that was really the problem for the bongo. It was the destruction of its home, plus that poaching, that reduced its numbers it so is, much. Uh, it's anchored here and it can't, it can't move. What's the future? Well, when my father came there must have been uh, 10,000 bongo more in the country now, I suppose. There's probably a total of less than a hundred. And with the population growing as fast as it is and the forest being destroyed as fast as it is, I held out very little hope for them. More and more people want to use the forest for its wood, for its charcoal, but eventually it will run out and the water supply from those water towers will fail. The home of the bungo will disappear. Welcome to Enderbibi Primary School, not far from Lake Naivasha, not far from the Aburu Forest, or what remains of it, an extension of the much reduced Mao Forest. Here the children have been greatly encouraged by Solomon, who tells them about a small group of bongos up there in the forest that has not been cleared. But can it stay that way? Its future is in their hands, and so is the future of those few surviving bongo, symbol of the trees and the water that they provide. It's the Enderbibi Bongo Club, young and old, trying to help the bongo and the Aburu forest. Uh, very good. So you are very free to talk with the, uh, the teacher in charge, yes. with the pupils, go out of the classroom. We conserve the animals, the animals, especially the bongo, uh, which are becoming exit. I am the beauty and the heritage of a nation. Why do you clear my homes? Don't you like it when visitors come from all over the world to see me? Mike Pretty John in the Aberdares has coordinated bongo to, conservation efforts for many years. To, tree planting, to, uh, bongo schools, and now over 10,000 local people are involved. Peter Maneni reaching some 13 schools with films in the Mao, Iburu, Aberdares and Mount Kenya areas. Many children have never seen big wild animals like elephants or lions, certainly not bongos. But they made their own in a competition. If anything can save the situation, it is the education of young local people. They are the future of the forests, its water and its symbol, 
the mountain bongo. Now this is a, a section of the southern Labadea, it's a very rugged country and it's where we've got one small group of bongo that hang out in that area. Because the number of bongos are so small, there is the problem of inbreeding and so genetic DNA samples of dung and tissue must be collected. These are being analysed abroad, a complicated and expensive process. Position. Communication in these dense mountain forests is crucial. Tracking bongos needs special skills and it's not an easy place to operate. <laughs> Experienced men, some perhaps originally bongo hunters, risk being charged by buffalo and attacked by poachers. Not only are they fighting to save the bongo, but to save the forests of Kenya. Many others, be they on Mount Kenya, the Abadares, the Mao, or Iburu, or abroad, are involved in that challenge for trees and water. And it can be done.